Welcome to In the Trenches MBA. Today we're going to talk about inbox zero, email overflowing, and how to get out of email hell. And this is where we start because people get so overwhelmed with email, and it's one of those things that people, it just upsets people. And we don't want everybody to be upset because if you're upset, you're not living in a happy world. And if you're not living in a happy world, then more people get upset. And it's just this endless cycle. So let's dig in and figure out how to solve this problem for all of America. So which one are you? Are you here because you have zero emails in your inbox? Or zero unread emails in your inbox? Or are you here because you're this 13,000 unread emails? Most likely, it's the second one because you wouldn't be here if it was the first. So let's talk about classifications of emails and where to start. There are four classifications of emails that I have that I go by for all of my rules and for all of my clients. So if you have an email that you don't need ever, right, it doesn't pertain to you, you got on a list, this is what people call junk mail, right, you don't need it. So the first thing that you wanna do is click that unsubscribe button, please don't click spam, just click unsubscribe and let them know that you no longer need your emails, all right? so. Then once you've done that, you can delete and it can go away. Now, folders, number two. If you don't need it today, create a folder or we'll talk about an extension at the end that will help you, but say you don't need it today but you need it on Friday or you wanna follow up on it in the future and it's still a to-do item but you really want to make sure that you have it you know, somewhere. You can put that into a folder that is a to-do folder or it's a future follow-up folder, or something of that sort, so that we can actually folder that away so it's not in your inbox. Now, the number three classification is you need to keep it, but the task is done. This also goes in a folder, and it may go in a folder by a client, or it may go in by a project or a task, but nonetheless, it's not in your inbox, and it's already been looked at. And then number four is this is important, it needs to be done, it's actually a task. So it can stay in your inbox until it becomes one of the other three. So those are the classifications. So if you write those down and have those next to you as you're going through this process, now we can show you how to go through the entire process. So where to start using the classifications as a guide? Search by email address or person, okay? Unsubscribe if needed and then select all and delete. So if you have an email that falls into classification number one, you unsubscribe, you only have to do it once, but then search by that email address, it will bring up every single email that you've ever gotten from that email address, and then all you have to do is select it, and then delete all. And it will delete all of the emails from that particular email address from everywhere in your inbox, all right? So that being said, you can see how some of these emails, you could delete hundreds at once, which is great for inbox zero, especially when you have 20,000 emails in your inbox, all right? So let's go to this next thing. Now, if you want to keep this particular email or the emails from this particular person, you can create a folder and then folder it if needed or you can create folders of folders. So for instance, I have a client's folder, and then inside of that client's folder are a whole bunch of folders with each of my client's names. So when I get done with something for them, all I have to do is click the you know send to folder and start typing in the client's name and it brings it up and sends it right to that folder. So this is how you're going to uh, file away everything that you think you need um, to, how I would say, CYA, um, and put all of that stuff in a safe place so you can reference it whenever you need to. Now, the rule of thumb, if it is more than two months old and you never opened it, guess what? It's probably okay to delete it because you never really wanted it anyway. Now, if you are an email hoarder, because I know some people who are, please feel free to make a folder for that. But when your Gmail account or your um, business account or whatever it is starts telling you that you are over the limit, guess where the first place is that you're gonna start? 
those folders that you never write any of the emails in them, okay? So suggestion two is when you're searching and deleting, you use two tabs so you don't lose your place in the first list because you're gonna start going down the list and you're gonna start deleting a whole bunch of stuff and I want you to be able to jump back and forth to make that happen. So now let's get into the actual steps that we use to help achieve Inbox Zero. So the very first step that we use is search for junk. These are the daily, weekly, and monthly digests like Groupon, Living Socials, horoscopes, and quotes that you have signed up for that you may or may not have ever read. But in most cases, they are um, time sensitive and they're just sitting in your email for no reason because you never read them anyway. So the first thing that you want to do is copy the email address from each one of these. Paste it into the email search of the second tab that you opened. When you get in there, you want to unsubscribe from one of them, select all, delete, and then repeat with every single uh, uh, email address that you get this junk mail from. If you have Groupon or Living Social, you get sometimes three of those a day. So if you haven't checked your, if you've been on Groupon for a year, that right there is going to get rid of almost a thousand emails for you. All right. So you can see how we can do this and how we can do it fairly quickly. Now, after you've gotten rid of all of the junk that you know of and you know who they're coming from, after you've gotten rid of that, now you want to search for the no reply at emails. So this will give you the typical bulk mail from like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter notifications, and more. So if you search the term no reply at, it's going to bring up all of these bulk messages. These are time sensitive. They can usually be found um, on their websites, blogs, and social media. And all we're going to do is repeat the exact same process as we did in number one. Okay, we're going to paste into the second tab, unsubscribe if you want to, or select all, delete, and repeat. I don't necessarily unsubscribe from LinkedIn because I like getting their messages, but if we are too overwhelmed with all of them, delete what was already in there because they're past anyway, and then go into LinkedIn and change the settings of how many emails you get on a daily basis. That will help you, okay? So number three is the subscriptions. So these subscriptions were important once, but are they still important? If not, then repeat the process above of unsubscribing and selecting all and deleting, right? But if they were, you can create a folder so that the relevant emails will automatically go into that folder when they arrive. Then, whenever you want to go learn about or see what's going on in WordPress or see what's going on with your favorite real estate agent, you can go in and you can read all of their different things. But just know they have blogs and they have websites and they have social media and most of the stuff is that they're putting into your email is there as well. All right, so next, the non-bulk email. This is the hard part, okay? So in the first 60 minutes, you should be able to get rid of a lot of emails. And in most cases, in that first hour, with somebody that has 20 or 30,000 emails in your inbox, in their inbox, I could usually get rid of, rid of 10 to 15,000 emails in the first 60 minutes just by following those other three rules. Now, this is the next part. You wanna start with the oldest emails first. So sort your inbox, oldest to newest, so that you get the oldest ones at the top. So then start using your categories. So what category do each of these emails fall into? Um, copy the email for each address from each one, paste into the email search of the second tab, and then figure out if it's gonna be unsubscribed or if you're gonna folder it and then select all and delete and repeat, okay? So may, just follow the exact same rules. You have the common sense to make this happen. I'm just giving you the start of all of this. Now, number two, tasks. Tasks are your new normal. The whole point is to de deal with emails daily so that your email doesn't pile up and be make you overwhelmed. So if you will start to delete, folder, or unsubscribe, you can handle your email like a master. 
So let's make sure that um, you're starting to follow these rules and you're starting to get used to them and um, you'll be able to stay clean. So now the tools for staying clean and I told you I was going to talk about some extensions. These are some very cool extensions and you can see in other in the trenches videos or in how to videos how we use these and why we use them. So Gmail has the option for using a service called unroll.me. This is a free product only for Gmail accounts and it'll help you create a daily digest of all of your bulk mail that you want to keep but only see in one email a day. So for instance, I still want my target and my DSW uh, emails to come through, right? I love them. I love seeing the sales, but I don't necessarily need to see them on a daily basis. I want to be able to have all of that all rolled up into one email a day. And so all of the ones that I still want to keep, but I want to roll up, I put them, I choose to roll them up into unroll.me and I can then go into my one email a day and see all of my bulk messages and choose to open them as I want to. Now, folders and rules, you have the, the, these are options right inside of Gmail. Use them wisely. Use them the way that you need to use them for your brain. And, you know, if you're looking for help, we can help you with that as well. Chrome extensions. So if you're using Gmail and you're using Chrome, you have a lot of options when it comes to Chrome extensions to make cool things happen. So extra functionality like snoozing. Now snoozing is absolutely my favorite. If you have an email that comes into your inbox that you can't deal with for two days and you don't really need to see it for two days, you can snooze it and it'll come back in as a new message two days later. That's amazing. Send later, if you want to be able to write an email today and send it next Friday without you having to remember to do it, send later is available. Email canned templates. This is a time saver for productivity and everyone should be using canned templates if you write an email more than once. Um, Gmail has that for you in a, an extension and some of these other ones do too. Task, split, task lists and more right inside of your email. So examples of um, extensions that do this kind of stuff are Mixmax, Boomerang, Streak, HubSpot, and Jamelius. All of them have different reasons for using them. Um, so you just have to find the right one that works inside of your business. If you're gonna pay for it, it needs to be the right price and all of that stuff. So we'll take all of that into consideration when getting into Inbox Zero. So if this video helped you to get to your inbox zero and actually take the first step at cleaning yourself up uh, email wise, then please uh, subscribe us and like us here on YouTube by using the buttons on the left. And then also, if you're looking for somebody to help you get through this process, you just don't have the time to go through and do it. That's what we do at My Clone Solution. All you have to do is tell us your business pains and we will get back to you with the first three steps that we would take to achieve your uh, antidote for what your pains are. So that button is on the left as well. All of the links and information that you need about this video is down in the description. We hope you enjoyed and until we see you next time, 